Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to the finale of American Horror Story Coven. Obviously, as always, I'm in my shirt and tie. No, no, I'm not. Now I am, baby. We still, we don't, we, we don't forget the shirt and tie. No way. It's a finale. But to be honest, as I've just finished watching episode 12, I'm ready to watch episode 13, the finale. And please, please don't pay attention too much to my grey hairs, man. I'm getting grey hairs already at my age. Can you believe it? 25. I'm 26 next next month in February. But, oh my God, am I getting grey hairs. I don't know if you've noticed, but I always usually have my hair cut a little bit shorter. Just to hide the fact that I've got grey hairs. I'm ready to get into the finale because I've just finished watching episode 12. So this is it. The journey of Coven is about to end. I hope you guys have enjoyed my journey on Coven. Now, depending on how this episode goes, it might be my favourite season. But it's looking that it's looking that way. It is looking that way. But yeah, let's go. Let's, let's do it. Actually, let me just check my camera first. Will that do? That'll be alright. Just so I can have the little box, like, down here. Okay, let's go. Seven Wonders, it's called. So, we are doing something never done in our history. We are going to give all four of you the chance to prove yourself. Oh, I thought it was all of them. Only one of you will succeed. I did it. I did it. Almost sounds like you want it. It's not about want. You either are or you aren't a Supreme. Maybe I am. Why is she so surprised she'd done it? She grabbed the knife to kill the jazz man last episode. The descent into the netherworld will be your next test. Getting to hell will be simple for girls of your talent. It's the getting back, darlings, that is the challenge. Oh, Queenie's if done it already. If hasn't returned to your body by summer, you will die. Queenie's done it already. She's done it with the chicken shop. You relive the worst moments of your life or something? That's what Papa Legba said. Are we all back? Where is she at? The swamp? Being burned alive by those witch hunters. You won't dissect the dead frog, you won't no, dissect you the live one. Kill everything. You can't make me! Oh. Mr. Kringle! If you won't dissect the dead frog, then you'll dissect the live one. You won't dissect the dead no, frog. No. Shit, man. It's like Groundhog Day, isn't it? The time is up. No, 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 no. The hell? Fuck. So Misty Day's gone. Oh my god. <sighs> you bitch. <laughs> oh, idiot. Ah, uh, idiot! That's how she looked on the wall in the in the vision that Cordelia had. Misty Day was on top of a piano. You have great power, my girl. Power that has been seen expression in these young vessels, but it's in you. you. Must let it out. You must perform the seven wonders. You think I could be the next supreme? I'd stake your life. I said that. I did say that. You see? Me. Trying to get Fiona's approval and getting bitch slapped for it. Not exactly me. Transmutation. That's five wonders accomplished. Let us move to the sixth. Divination. Cordelia? Fine. Okay, I'm back in. <laughs> what? It's only fair. This thing started as a competition. I say we end it like one. Cordelia, divine in the pebbles, the location of the item which belonged to Mimi de Longpre. 
Ah, uh, she got the sight in it, so she'll know. Yeah, easy. Cordelia's got this one, easy. She's gonna get a flashback every time she touches one. Divine for us the location of the object belonging to Supreme Anna Lee Layton, Madison. She was murdered. This is stupid. I'm not doing it. Because you can't? I never have a shot at running this shithole coven. Oh, she can't even make fire. I didn't even want to come here in the first place. It's all just some jacked up version of celebrity rehab. I'm out of here. What? What do you want, dumbass? Don't believe it. You're not that good an actress. Yes, Carl. No. Oh, she's going to die and Zoe's going to return. One soul for another. Papa Legba. I was very clear. Tonight's the night to pay me my due. I spilled in. You fucking sick cunt. She does look younger. Oh my god, her eyes are back. I've just noticed. I don't know how it took me that long. Supreme. So what would you like to say to all the girls watching and wondering if they might be witches? Call us. Email us. Or just come to New Orleans. There is a home and a family waiting for you. Oh, she's like proper publicized. What about the witch hunters in that? I know they died from the axe man, but surely there's more than that. We all know what happens to a witch who grievously harms another witch. Yeah. I hope you're not suggesting. I'm not suggesting. I'm insisting. You want to be burned at the stake? Again? And I can't do this without you. Stick up, my dear. Everything you do or say ripples through the entire coven. She ain't gonna. She ain't gonna do it. Won't stand for it. It's just gonna be Queenie, Cordelia, and Zoe. Nah. Not gonna happen. In the absence of the council, as reigning supreme of this coven, I hereby decree for the murders of our sister witch Cicely Pembroke and our colleague Quentin Fleming. You. Myrtle Snow are hereby sentenced to death by fire. Any last word? Only one. What? I've got no idea what that meant. I've got no idea what she said. Wow. That's a lot of potential witches.
But any of those could have been the... I don't know. Should we open the doors now? Not yet. What was that? Stay here. No. There's just one more thing I need to do. Is that Fiona? I saw you die. Look again. You're scared. Maybe for the first time in your life. No power. No magic. Just a woman facing the inevitable. A divine being finally having a human experience. No, it's like a worst nightmare. Nobody is going anywhere. Oh, fuck that, man. That's like the worst thing possible. <laughs> Papa. Ah, <laughs> oh, he took her soul. No, he didn't. There was no deal, though. There was no deal. Or is it because she killed Nan? Oh, I don't even know. Let's open the door. Oh, he's the new butler. Spalding 2.0. Miss Robichaux's Academy for Exceptional Young Ladies was established as a premier girls' finishing school in 1790. Afterwards, it came under new management. Our management. I know, together, we can do more than survive. It's our time to thrive. What's a Supreme? They're looking at her. Okay. Mm, Coven's yep. Yeah. Coven's probably my favourite season so far. I need that. I need that bit with Fiona explained to me though, just a little bit. She didn't have a soul to give Papa Legba. He called the deal off. But unless there's like a twist or something when they kissed, it means he has control over her afterlife, maybe. Because the jazz man said, this is it for all eternity. Like, this is it. You're going to wake up every day here with me eating this cattlefish. And then Papa Legba started laughing, man. He's... He's what? He has control. The only time... The only time they interacted was when she summoned him. He kissed her. And he said there's no soul to give, like the deal's off, there's no soul to give, yeah. And then the next time we saw them interact was in the bathroom where Marie and Fiona both killed Nan. They drowned her alive. And Papa said, I told, uh, what did he say? He said, I made myself very clear. He needs an innocent soul, but Aunt Nan wasn't an innocent soul. So maybe Papa Legba's, I don't know. Oh. I need that bit explained to me. Pronto. ASAP. People on my Patreon, I need that bit with Fiona explained. I don't get how Papa Legba has control over her afterlife. Or did they make a deal on the sly? Yeah, I need that bit explained. Other than that though, fantastic. That was a great ending to a series. So Misty Day died. She was trapped in that kind of Groundhog Day kind of thing. Dissecting a live frog. She didn't want to do it. The teacher forced her to kill a live frog. She kept bringing it back to life and then all over again. So she was trapped there. She couldn't get out and she died. I didn't know. 
I didn't know she would evaporate like that. And Zoe, yeah. I know Zoe died on the railings, yeah. So obviously she can't be the Supreme if she died during the Seven Wonders. But Queenie didn't. And Queenie done everything. She was the first back from the hellhole, wherever that was, the chicken shop. But I guess she'd already done it before. But I'm sure in episode 12 she revived someone, man. She had the resurrection thing. And she's and she could uh, warp, wherever it was. She could be here and then over there whilst they were playing tag. Tag it. Maybe she wasn't as powerful as Cordelia then. I mean, Cordelia did get her eyesight back. So yeah, maybe she was the Supreme. Cordelia. And Zoe and Queenie are no other new council. Very two very young witches on the council but there's no one else so myrtle actually wanted to get burned at the stake i didn't i didn't think it was going to happen i didn't think she was going to go through with it cordelia but she did myrtle wanted to be burned at the stake like i think she meant she meant her mission was kind of over she wanted to find the next supreme and that and that was that and then she wanted to be punished for killing the old two council members. I mean, she did fuck him up, to be fair. She chopped him up and shit, man. I mean, that's bad enough. Madison got killed by Kyle. It's funny, yeah? It's funny, actually. Madison, on her way out, she threatened Cordelia, saying, oh, I'm gonna, there's going to be so many... When I leak this information to TMZ, everyone, everyone and their pitchfork is going to be out here with their Molotov cocktails and stuff. But then Cordelia goes on the news and says, oh, if there's any young witches about, give us a call. We're at this location here. This is the address. So maybe all the witch hunters were taken out. Maybe that one company that Hank's dad owned, that was the only witch hunting company. There's no other witch hunters out there. What about the witch hunters that burned Misty Day at the stake in the first episode? Were they part of Delphi? Delphi Trust. There was a lot of deaths, man. There was a lot of deaths over the last two episodes. Oh, I can't remember. Can't remember. But I know at least three or four people died last episode. And then this episode finale, oh my god, people were dropping like flies. Madison turned into a right bitch, man. Proper, proper bitch. She got brought back to life, but she didn't want to bring she didn't want to bring the person who brought her back to she didn't want to bring the person back to life who brought her back to life. That was quite hard to say. It's kind of uh, it's kind of funny how Madison brought Kyle back to life only for Kyle to kill her, strangle her to death in her own bed. What was it Zoe's bed? She killed. He killed Madison in Zoe's bed. Anyway, Kyle is the new Spalding. I wonder if he's gonna get Spalding's old room. But Spalding, Spalding's spirit is still there. I know Fiona's spirit ain't there. Because obviously Papa Legba has it and that's her. Her afterlife is just the same every day. Groundhog Day. But Spalding is still there. The spirit. But obviously the season is over. So obviously nothing happens. But Kyle saw Spalding. I don't... Maybe he just didn't mention seeing Spalding. Unless he done something to Spalding, Kyle. But I don't know. But yeah, Spalding is still lurking around, man. And there's new witches coming into the academy. And Spalding's on the loose. I think he took Madison's body, actually, Spalding. Probably up to the attic. Dirty, evil, perverted asshole. He's just going to stash her body, man. And he still has the kid, Spalding. Spalding still has the, the kid that Marie took from the hospital. Yeah, that was a very, very good series. I enjoyed it. Apologies that it took me so long to watch it, but I get busy. Everyone gets busy. Plus, I like to leave gaps, um, or give or have like little breaks in between each uh, two or three episodes. I don't like to rush it, man. A good series like that. If I rushed it in the space of two weeks, I'd be like, "Why did I rush it that much?" Like, it's such a good series. I should I should have just enjoyed it like while it lasted, kind of thing. But yeah, unreal series. I loved it, man. And the next up is Freak Show. I'm kind of excited for Freak Show because one of my very good friends said that it's his one of it's one of his favourite series or seasons of American Horror Story. So I'm looking forward to it. So uh, people keep 
commenting, telling me to skip it. But obviously I'm not going to just because you didn't like it. doesn't mean I'm not going to watch it. So I'm watching every season in order. If you didn't already know, it should be obvious by now. But yeah, I'll be watching every season. And I've just finished season three. So I think I'm a third of the way through American Horror Story. I think there's nine seasons. I think Murder House Asylum, Coven, Freak Show, Hotel. Then I think Cult. Then Row, Roanoke, Roanoke. Then Apocalypse. And then 1984. I'm a third of the way. Can you believe it? It's taking me so fucking long. Well done, Chasman. You took your time, Chasman. Thanks, guys, for watching me on my journey of Coven. Thank you to my patrons. If you've if you've only if you've only signed up just for my Coven reactions, I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, if this is the last I'll see of you, if you if you've only wanted to sign up for Coven, I understand. But it's been a blast having you watching me on my Patreon for the full reactions and early access. Um, you guys have you guys have motivated me most of all. All my my Patreon viewers, you guys you guys are the ones that have motivated me the most. To upload more so i thank you for that but if this is if this is the last time i'll see you guys on my patreon just thanks it's been a pleasure and i hope to see you again in the future if not have a great new year i hope you had a great christmas but have an even better new year it's 2020 the start of a new decade own it if you're not happy in your life in your job take control of it man it's 2020 it's a new decade this is your decade. This is your time to shine. Same goes to my YouTube viewers as well. If you're stuck in a job you hate, if you're not happy at home or at work, change it, man. Change it. This is your opportunity to change it. This is your 2020. This is your decade. 2010 to 2019, that's in the past, man. You can change it now. That's the beauty about life. You can change your life uh, for the better. Yeah, I'm going to go. Final words on Coven. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a nine point five out of ten. Great series. I loved it. I like how. Like they could have not included Delphine and her past in it, but even the Jazzman. Jazzman was based on a true serial killer. Delphine was true as well. Like I liked all of that. It's a bit history. Inside American Horror Story. Um, I don't think Asylum really had that, apart from Briarcliff. I think Briarcliff was a real Asylum, but other than that, I don't think anything else was true. Maybe, oh, I don't know, Bloody Face? Was Bloody Face true? I don't know. But yeah, Coven was good. I just liked all the factual shit during Coven. So yeah, 9.5 out of 10 from me for Coven. My favourite series so far. Let's see what Freak Show holds. Like I said, one of my good, fr very good friends said Freak Show was his best his favourite uh, season so far. So I'm looking forward to it. And I hope I hope you guys are too. Yeah, I might even end it there. So thanks guys for watching. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can watch the full reactions to this season, Coven. Uh, season 1, Murder House and Season 2, Asylum. All three seasons are up on there in full. With no cuts, no edits. And if you're watching this on YouTube now... That would mean the first couple of episodes of Freak Show are already on my Patreon to watch already. In full. So if that's what you fancy, go ahead and sign up, man. But it's up to you. There's no pressure. But take it easy, guys. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching me on my journey through Coven. It's been amazing. And I'll see you guys for episode one of Freak Show. Take it easy.